Hi everyone, my name is Maggie Bell and I'm an assistant curator at the Norton Simon Museum. During this period of working from home, it's been moving to see our community's continued interest in the museum, and I want to thank all of you who have written to us with questions about our collection. Today, I'll be talking about Jacopo Bassano's painting, The Flight into Egypt, which was created around 1544 to 1545 and had an interesting journey prior to its arrival at the museum. This painting was unknown to art historians before 1960 when it appeared in the Royal Academy's exhibition, Italian Art in Britain. It was lent to the exhibition by the Benedictine monks of Prignash Abbey in Gloucester, where it had been hanging in their refectory or dining hall. In 1969, this masterful work became part of Norton Simon's collection when it was sold to raise funds to repair the abbey's roof. The final sale price, which was six times higher than the Benedictines had anticipated, was characterized as a near miracle. The flight into Egypt now graces the museum's Renaissance Gallery, where we have the privilege of sharing this remarkable painting with the public. In the scene, the Holy Family flees to Egypt after receiving a warning that King Herod plans to kill the infant Jesus. The Virgin Mary cradles the baby while perched on a mule led by the steadfast Joseph, who follows an ethereal angel. The family is surrounded by three young men, two of whom are dressed as peasants, and one as a soldier. Aspects of the landscape echo the artist's hometown of Bassano del Grappa, such as the mountain San Mauro Feltre, which looms in the background. This lush rural setting belongs to the tradition of pastoral paintings, which were hugely popular in nearby Venice. Earlier 16th century Venetian artists like Giorgione and Titian painted scenes of city dwellers escaping into the countryside, listening to music and enjoying fresh air in the company of shepherds and nymphs. Bassano gravitated towards biblical stories that took place in rustic environments. For instance, in his Annunciation to the Shepherds, now at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., the angel announcing Christ's birth looks down on human and animal bodies jumbled together in the foreground, bathed in a divine light. Though he lived in his rural hometown for most of his life, Bassano's primary clients were from urban areas such as Venice. It's likely that the Simon's flight into Egypt originally decorated the private home of a wealthy Venetian patron, which makes its depiction of the rural poor particularly interesting. These figures are not given individual identities, but rather serve a symbolic purpose. To the painting's owner, the strong, healthy laborers may have been a reminder of the Venetian elite's investments in agricultural land in the 16th century. At the same time, however, the peasants call to mind the Holy Family's virtuous life of poverty. Christ and his parents do not travel among the wealthy, but rather with the poor and humble. Like pilgrims who renounce worldly possessions to seek spiritual fulfillment, these figures accompany the family on their perilous journey through a familiar Italian landscape and invite the viewer to do the same, if only imaginatively.